Hi guys, Jessica with Paver here, and I am so excited to share these new shortcut features with you. So today we are going to be reviewing two new shortcuts. The first one will be the automatic application of categories, and the second will be the automatic application of labels, which means that there is no need to launch Paver from the sidebar to be able to apply your categories and labels. You can now do that to an existing calendar event or as you are creating a new calendar event. Um, so I'm going to show you both ways. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is the shortcut for automatically applying categories. So this one is actually really simple if you're doing it to um, an existing calendar event, also super simple for creating a new event. But if we are applying a category to an existing calendar event, all we have to do is change the color on the calendar to have it correlate to whatever color you have set up as the category color in paper. So for example, I'm here on my calendar. I know that this KPI metrics um, calendar event it's something that I would typically apply my business development category to. I know that that color that cut uh, I'm sorry. I know that that category color is lavender as I have it set up in paper. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to apply lavender as the color, and now I have automatically applied the category um, to that calendar event without having to launch paper. But just so we can confirm that it did happen, I will launch it here and show you that. Um, it has been applied. So you can see, yeah, business development is the category that has been applied. All I had to do was change the color on the calendar, which you can easily do just by right clicking it and selecting whatever color it is you want to apply the category for. Just remember that that color just has to um, correlate to whatever you've set up in paper. So the next one is the automatic application of labels. So this one will require actually um, either expanding the event so we can open it up um, to see the event description, or you can do it when you're creating a new event. So I'm actually going to do it when we're creating a new event so I can show you both of them. And the reason we have to do that is because what we're going to do is we are going to apply a hashtag into the event description. So if I just click here and start adding a new event, I'm just going to call this one podcast interview. And I know that this is, um, I know that this, this is a marketing category. This is what I would apply a marketing category to, which is peacock for me. So I'm going to click peacock as the color. And then I'm going to type here in the, oh, in the event description, I'm going to add the description hashtag podcast interview. Um, that is the label. So your label is hashtag whatever the label name is with no spaces, dashes, anything like that. And then I am just going to save that. So now I've created that new event on my calendar. And while I was creating it, I was automatically able to apply both the category and the label. So if you wanted to apply multiple labels, you could just do multiple hashtags, just a hashtag for um, everyone there in the event description. But again, just to confirm that that did work, I'll, I'll launch paper here and show you with this new event that we have applied the marketing category and we have applied the podcast interview label and that will now show up on our reporting so that should save you a ton of time as you are creating new events if you want to go through your calendar apply it to existing events you can obviously do that as well but now you can add those categories and those labels without the need to launch paper which also means that you can do it in your mobile app as long as you are using the actual google calendar mobile app so i am so excited to share those with you and as always please let me know if you have any questions or need any additional help getting started in paper